Hi, this is Chelsea from Talk Nerdy to Me, here to do a weekly book haul. This is going to seem insane. This is a huge, big week for books. Not really. It was a big week for my haul. This is in two sections. One is my Barnes & Noble haul, and the other haul is from bookoutlet.com, which I'm going to tell you how obsessed about that I am. Okay, so first we'll do Barnes & Noble. I went to Barnes & Noble. I had heard about these books. I always am on the lookout for new books and gothic, anything that I can get my hands on because that's my favorite genre. This book was recommended. It's called The Gin Waits 100 Years by Shubukum Khan. It's about a jinn, which is a ghost haunting a manor by the sea. It's a young girl. She wants to unravel the mystery. Heard wonderful things about this book and it just came out a couple days ago. I think it was released on the 9th. So excited. Second book was a book wasn't even looking for, had no idea about this person. I just stumbled upon it. And this is Adrian McKinty, The Detective Up Late, and it's a Sean Duffy novel. Um, it was 50% off, so I grabbed it. Um, this is a detective book. It's about Ireland. Heard a ton of good things. The guy won, I don't even remember the name of the award they win for these types of books. It was just really critically acclaimed and I'm really excited to read it. I guess there's a series, but you don't have to read the whole thing. Anyways, it was half off. I'm very excited. This one I heard from another book talker. It's called The Arrangement by Robin Harding. This is about being a sugar baby and I just wanted to eat that up. I'm just like in that mood. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Um, anyways this is supposed to be a thriller it's supposed to be great it's supposed to can't put it down pay, huge page turner really excited to get into it this one i also heard about is brand new just came out the heiress by rachel hawkins this is about an inheritance thing the main lady dies she had had four different husbands that had all died in the past the son doesn't want anything to do with the inheritance it's just basically a mystery kind of unraveling like kind of what happened in the past i heard really really good things about it moving on to bookoutlet.com i got all these I got five hardbacks and three paperback books for barely over $50 with free shipping. That's insane. Most of these hardbacks over here from Barnes & Noble are $30 by themselves. Even with the 10% off, that doesn't really help your case much. We're going to just rapid fire through these. Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. I had heard a lot of things about this. I heard it's very good. I heard it's an easier story to really understand than Caravel. I also think things with hotels that are haunted and anything like kind of creepy, lorry, any haunted house, anything haunted, I'll read it. Next one, following the gothic vibe, Corpse Queen. These books are all really slept, they're, I don't wanna say they're slept on, but they're really not heard of, which is a big deal to me because I love to find things that aren't really heard of. So I'm constantly looking for them. The Corpse Queen by Heather M. Herman. This book actually takes place in Philadelphia in 1855. Um, she's really poor. This girl's a grave digger. Very gothic lore vibes. Very excited to read this. This also sticking with our theme of gothic. I heard about this book. Also not very hugely popular that I've ever seen. I had to really kind of dig to find it. Lake's Edge by Lindell Clipstone. Lady by the Sea. Mystery. Again, haunted haunted don't care we'll read it next book i've been wanting this book for a long time i wanted it through our local bookstore which is called books on the bosky i have slept on it for a long time it was 30 dollars on its own called the last tale of the flower by by roshani chotsky this is supposed to be very corpse bride-esque and i'm very excited to read this it, it has similar vibes she married somebody there's a mystery gothic as hell can't wait to devour it this is not with our gothic theme, but it is with our theme of auto by author, which is Silvia Moreno Garcia, who I am obsessed with. If you know anything about me, if you've been following me for any amount of time, I'm obsessed with and just really eating their stuff up because it's, most of the time it's fantastic. It's very niche and it's, it has an important place to my heart since we're from New Mexico and I try to support all these people. My favorite of all time, of course, I'm sure tons of you know, is Silvia Moreno Garcia. I have all of her books except for one. I'm working on getting it. This is Velvet Was the Night. This is a, just a noir. It's supposed to be just a quick read. It's not even 300 pages long. I'm sure I can just hopefully plow through it. I just love her. She's an auto eye author. All these hardback books, by the way, were under $7. So it's huge, huge deal. That's fine. You can make fun of me. I don't care. I needed a fluff, fluffy book. And this is the fluffiest book I could think of that is totally mindless, okay? The Baker's Man by Jennifer Mormon. I don't even really need to say anything about it. It's about 
this lady, she's a baker, she creates her own man. No, no amount of thought put into this, none. Total fluff, culinary, make your own man. It sounds really cute and it just sounds like a quick fluffy read. This book I picked up. The Housemaid, finally, by Frida McFadden. I don't know if I'm even a Frida McFadden fan. Everybody seems to go ape about her. I never had the urge to read this book, but I got it for like three bucks, so I figured I'll find out what the hype is about. Last on the book outlet haul is House of the Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Two sisters, Scotland, disappear, no memory. Just sounded kind of interesting. It was only like three bucks. What I'm here to tell you is just absolutely, if you can, check everything through bookoutlet.com. Tons of books now are popping up on there that I spent full price on, and I absolutely wish that I paid more attention to it and followed it more. Like I said, I got all those books, barely over $50 free shipping. It's always so much fun to get a giant thing of book mail and not support Bezos and his giant rocket spaceship. I try really conscientiously and hard not to if I can by any other means possible, which is probably a lie. I hope you enjoyed these gothic recommendations. I hope you found out about bookoutlet.com. I hope that I gave you a recommendation. Hopefully you can pick up. If you have any questions, please let me know what you're reading right now. Right now I'm reading the Shepherd King duology. We are buddy reading it with my best friend Alexa. Just finished the first book, which if you know me, you know that's huge. I blew through it really quickly. I was in the hospital twice, so I had a lot more time to read than usual. But anyways, it is my favorite, one of my favorite books of all time. It's as great as everybody says. The hype is real. I picked up the second book just because I, I just need to know. So I'll be reading that and I'll also be reading that Adrian McKinty, The Detective Up Late, both of them. Let me know what you're reading in the comments. Hopefully I found a good recommendation. Stay nerdy. If you need to know anything, just ask. Well, she can't tell. She can't tell.